day everyone. So this is a continuation of the topic about coding data for a quantitative research, particularly if you did an online survey. So that is either making use of a Google form, a Microsoft form, a JAT form, or any other online survey tool. So say for example, you use Google form, all you have to do is to gather the raw responses from the actual Google form. So I'm going now to my Google Drive. So say this is the actual survey that I conducted. In downloading your files, you just have to go to responses and then click on view sheets. And then after that, you just have to click on file and click on download and choose Microsoft. Excel and your file now will be downloaded so you just have to work on this downloaded file so I'm making use of a hypothetical data here so assuming that this is the file that I was able to download once again I'm still making use of our previous example for this particular research on the assessment of Equiper as a learning management platform. So I have the following questions about profile of the respondents relative to their sex, grade level, strand, and final grade in ETECT. Their assessments on the level of acceptability of Equiper in terms of usefulness and ease of use. And the challenges. Again, SOP number 3 is not part of your questionnaire. So looking at the responses here, so I just have to assign codes. So if you could recall, the codes are arbitrarily set by the researcher. So assuming once again that my code for male is 1 and 2 for female. So these are the codes that I'll be using. I'll use 1 for grade 11 and 2 for grade 12 I'll use 1 for ABM 2 for Humes and 3 for STEM and then I'll go back to the final grade in ETEC so that depends on the researcher if he or she wants to use the raw data or basically cluster the data no, in terms of scales or ranges and then for our second question once again for second question assuming that the four point scale was used like this one so four is for strongly agree three is for agree two is slightly agree and one is disagree so I'll be making use of those as my guide for coding so once again one is disagree two is slightly agree three is agree and four is strongly agree so these are the codes that will serve as my reference for 2.1 down to 2.2 e and then for the last one for the challenges this is a multiple response question so it will basically look like this so you have different answers multiple answers appearing so we do not have any code for that so let's start coding so you will simply be making use of Microsoft Excel's replaced function in doing this. So I'll just have to press Ctrl H. Again, that's Ctrl H. And for find what, we look for mail. And we replace it with one we start with sex again so based on our coding guide we replace male with one 
One important thing is you have to check this match entire cell contents. If you will not be checking this, what will actually happen is that when I replace fee male, it will become fee one. So I'll undo this. So again, you have to check match entire cell contents so that when you replace male, the female will not be affected. So you do this. You do, you do this for female also. So you code this with two. Again, grade eleven is one. Grade twelve is two. EBM is one. Humes is two. Stem is three. So we're able to code now our three variables under profile, sex, grade, level, and strand. And let's do this to our SOP number two, where we use the four-point rating scale. So for this one, I could just copy. So strongly agree. So based on our guide, strongly agree is four. So, 4, and then I use agree. So, I could type this or just copy-paste whatever is in my worksheet. So, agree is 3. Slightly agree is 2. Again, I'm typing it here under find what. Or, I, just, I may just click here, copy, and then paste it here, control V. So copy is control C, again it's control V, and then replace this with one, replace all. And basically you're done with the responses for your SOP number two. One important thing, again, if you're making use of this as your raw data, so you make use of the actual values as you analyzed, or Another thing is, if in case you decided to change uh, values of this and convert this into ordinal data, so I'll have a separate discussion on that one. So we'll reserve that for our future uh, video. So for now, so this is how you code data gathered from an online survey.